Hi friends, how are you? I am Lady Lecter and welcome back to my channel. It's time as always to get a cup of tea or in fact your beverage of choice, perhaps even some snacks. And since me and Rachel Shade have been saying snack -a do all week since I snack -a do last week, we could get some snack -a doos snack -a do snack -a do snack -a snack -a do Rachel, that's for you. <laughs> and this week we're going to talk about a mini Doc Martin haul. Okay. So in the UK, lockdown has started to ease slightly. So some shops and non-essential shops have started to open. Uh, hairdressers are open. Can't wait to go and get my hair cut next week. Living for that. <laughs> um, so we did a little road trip to the Doc Martin factory outlet shot in shot shop in Wollaston, uh, which is not it's not near to us, but we, we just took a, a little drive out um to see what that was all about. So I got some stuff I'm gonna show you. We're gonna work from the little things up to the big things because obviously I did get a pair of ducks and we will talk about those and we will try them on as well. That'll be cool. So I'm gonna start with the smallest thing that I got. And that's this little key ring. I really like key rings and things like that. Um, anybody else collect stuff like that? I just really like it. And this feels really nice. It's got like, it's like enamel and it just feels super lush. So I thought that'd be nice for, oops. I just thought it'd be nice for like, you know, my bag or like hanging off a bag or something. I just look, I really like it. It's just really shiny. I really like the shiny things. <laughs> In the similar vein, I got these. These are little pin badges. So they're just like, these are the pins for them. Little pin badges for ducks. I thought these this would look really nice on my leather jacket. Because, you know, I like, I like to have little badges and stuff on my jacket. I collect badges and pins and things like that. So I thought that would be really cool. Next up, I got some socks. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I kind of keep feeling like I'm losing all my socks. Like you put your socks in, you put your socks in the washing machine, and only one sock survives. Where do all the other socks go? Where do all the other socks go? Where does the odd sock go? Because like you can get your washing machine serviced or whatever, and they never find like a hundred pairs of odd socks in the back of the washing machine. It's like they go into the washing machine, and one of them must be separated from the rest. And it's sacrificed to the washing machine gods. How does that happen? So I bought myself some new socks. Uh, these, so it's a pack of three. You've got like the one with the sort of the Doc Martin logo on there. And you've got a stripey pair. And then there's a plain pair. Well, the plain, the black with a red rim on them. So... I thought that was quite exciting. They feel really nice as well. I really like socks that feel nice because sometimes you buy socks and they just feel like, yeah, not about that life. <laughs> Got another pair of socks, but slightly different. So these are like white stripey, white, white stripey, white and black stripey. Uh, they, I don't know because I haven't opened the packet yet, but they look like they might be longer. They might, might perhaps be knee high length because they seem to be a bit longer than those ones. But we'll see when I open the packet. Either way, no socks. I needed some socks. What can I tell you? <laughs> Next item that I got was a scarf. I don't know if you know this about me, but I do tend to sort of like really like scarves. I'm all about that scarf life. Um I pilfered a couple off my other half because he's got some really nice soft scarves. So it's just black with the red Dot Martins logo on. They had a couple of different ones, but I didn't want anything too Larry. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously I'm not that Larry life. But I do like to accessorise with colour, so I'll wear all black, as you know. But then I like to have like a red headscarf or a purple headscarf or a green headscarf or like a normal scarf or some shoes that are a different colour or a handbag that's a different colour. I like to accessorise with colour, don't I? So I thought this was kind of a cute idea. Next thing we got was this handbag, which I just really love. Um, 
it's, it's like sequins but you can like make it can be silver or black can you see that i can't show you properly can i so yeah so you can it's like reversible and what i really liked about this was the pin detail so these pins are the sort of like that that like magnetic seal -y thing and then you've got the the bag obviously in there but i just thought this was really nice um again because it's got like the dot martins on it and i'm really like interested in dot martins as as a as a collection piece i just thought it was nice because i've never had a dot martins bag before so i thought that was kind of a funky idea you coming in of course she is <laughs> so that's the little things that i got um and now we're going to get onto the shoes so the shoes that i got were unexpected okay and i really liked these shoes when they first came out but um i didn't i didn't get to them in time sort of thing so i didn't purchase them uh and it was unexpected i wasn't expecting to see these at the shop yesterday but i did and it was quite exciting so what happens with ducks is they they'll do like a collaboration um or like you know they'll put out a new release and it's a limited run and things like that so that they, they get discontinued because it's just a limited collaboration that they do obviously they have their sort of standard shoes that are always in the their like regular range if you like but they do these collaborations and the collaboration that i was really interested in that i got was the sex pistols collaboration so this is a 1925 sxp And you can see in there it says Sex Pistols. Now in the range of Sex Pistols shoes when they came out, there was quite a few different designs. Um, there was quite a few different designs. And the, it was quite obvious that there were, there were Sex Pistol shoes. Um, but I like these because they're not so obvious. So this one's got like a fake steel toe cap in it that's exposed. It's got these laces with the red and the yellow side on. And one shoe says boredom on the side. And the other shoe says nowhere on the side. And what I really liked about these was that they were not like overtly, obviously Sex Pistol shoes. So it's like um, basically the there was a, there's a song by Sex Pistols called Pretty Vacant and the artwork for the um, song Pretty Vacant has two buses on it going in two different directions and the destination on one bus is boredom and the destination on the other bus says nowhere so that's what I really it's like I really like the fact that they are not it doesn't say Sex Pistols on the shoe anywhere apart from inside and apart from me showing you who's showing anybody the inside of the shoe <laughs> so like i just really like that because i was like yes that would be that's perfect and they were in my size so i was really happy about that they're actually really comfortable because i like they look much more chunky than a standard um a dot martin shoe but they are a, a 1925 so they're much more chunky and like I say, because I've got this fake start steel toe cap in it, it is a fake steel toe cap. It does say there, non-safety shoe. Um, and so because it's got this fake steel toe cap in it, it makes it look really chunky. But I thought that that, that shoe would look really cool with like my, I've got these black denim dungarees. I thought it would look really cool with that. Um, and a sort of little leather jacket or something or maybe even like um, a blazer jacket you know like a sort of pinstripe blazer type jacket I also thought it looked nice with summer dresses because I, I tried them on and I've got a summer dress on and it actually looked really cool I like how clunky it is it's like a really nice clunky style um, I, I quite like a chunky clunky boot or shoe so I just thought they were really really nice 
and they're ever so comfy i mean like like i say i only brought them the other day and i don't feel like they need any massive breaking in or anything which i was quite surprised about i like the way they look from the front as well i really like this exposed steel toe cap you will know from my previous doc martin's video that i really like that style that shiny sort of steel toe cap exposed sort of situation so i'm really excited to be able to go out into the world and try those out um like i say i just like the fact that they're a little bit more sort of in, they're not they've not got sex pistols written all over them anywhere like they're a little bit more sort of subdued if you like a little bit more like a secret i kind of like that idea do you know what i mean like i saw them and i was just like oh my god but like you know somebody else might see them and think why have you got boredom and nowhere written on your shoe do you know what i mean and it's just like I, I'm, I'm good with that i'm okay with that <laughs> and i just really like it it's a really comfy shoe so that's my mini haul of course with lady moo moo to keep us company my mini haul for the uh duck martin's factory outlet the girls there were so friendly everybody i spoke to in there was so friendly it was such a lovely experience to just go and be amongst the boots and the shoes and the the merch do you know what i mean it was just such a nice experience to be amongst the duck people <laughs> I just really, really enjoyed it. It was a lovely day out. Um, so, yeah, this was my little haul. I hope you enjoyed that. What did you think about my shoes? Let me know in the comments. Would you wear a shoe that says boredom and nowhere on it? Or do you like this, oh, this exposed steel toe cap? I think it's really funky. What about my, uh, what about my socks? Because I personally am very excited about these socks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I like to make uh, content about all sorts of things like clothing, music, magical things, pussy cats. So that's us for this week. Have a lovely rest of your week. Enjoy the sunshine if you have any, and I shall speak to you very soon. <laughs>